Hi, I just want to tell you about this uh, uh, Excel model that I've been working on here. And it's to help me design a uh, triple arm excavator. So here's one of the arms, and here's the second arm, and here's the dipper, and here's a representation of the bucket. The masses that you can see, or the, the circles you can see here, are the center of gravities of mass of each part of the dipper and the uh, double lines you can see he, here uh, represent the uh, rams which will be used to change the geometry of the machine. Now the reason this uh, excavator arm is so big is because uh, we need to, it's been used in a marine environment uh, and it's been uh, strapped to a barge and the barge will be used to, to perform various uh, dredging operations uh, in a port. So uh, reach is very important here. So we can now put this machine uh, in any configuration we like. I've linked each of the RAM uh, lengths to these uh, buttons here, these slider buttons, so uh, we can change the geometry by uh, simply moving the slider button. So I guess if we're going to try to dig down deep then we'll be getting ourselves into this kind of position uh, and I'm going to drop this down further and OK. It's managing to dig beneath itself uh, and if I just slide this down a little bit uh, we can also work the bucket and we'll be able to lift uh, from uh, lift materials uh, from directly underneath the barge if necessary. Now uh, all these calculations are not only geometry calculations they're also uh, I'm also uh, calculating the forces in the rams and the forces acting on each of the arms uh, and we can see all the calculations uh, below so uh, here's the ram geometry um, now here we have some forces where we can set the forces of those uh, circular points um, and by taking um, moments uh, we can calculate uh, the RAM forces uh, and we can tie that in with the various blow-off relief valve settings so we can work out exactly uh, what this machine can lift in what particular positions and we can also work out the bucket breakout forces uh, and we've got a nice little model here that we can actually directly export to a finer element package where we could do a detailed stress analysis of any of the configurations uh, that the machine finds itself in and we'll be performing uh, fatigue calculations uh, based upon uh, those finer element results. Uh, so uh, I think what we can see here is that we've got a very flexible tool that we can quickly change uh, to investigate all kinds of scenarios uh, and I think it's going to be very useful to us in the design process. Thank you very much for listening.